How's it going, everyone? I'm Game Master 648. And welcome back to Wallace and Gromit Grand Adventures by Telltale Games. We're doing Wallace and Gromit in The Last Resort, sequel to Fright of the Bumblebees. This is episode two we're doing. We're gonna go to new game. We're not doing tutorial. I'm just gonna start up a new game because I did the tutorial in episode one which you all saw by the way in my previous let's play so yes and Grummit wants to go out to the beach yeah it's raining, that's why. Help! Gromit! Do something! Call the Coast Guard! Coast Guard, huh? Talk about raining cats and dogs, our plumbing's in a right pickle. Fetch me my spanner, lad, while I stick me finger in the dike. Spanner, lad. That's left over from our lunar landing. Best leave it be, lad. I shouldn't bother with that, Gromit. It's still only a prototype. Gromit, don't forget me, Spanner. It's down here somewhere. Do that, lad. We'll lose the lights. The whole base, the basement flooded. Just the job. Bring it here now, will you, lad? Bring me my spanner, lad. It's here. Well done. Our troubles are over. Whoops. That was a shock. Best trip for circuit breaker, lad. And stay clear of the water. It's electric. Look out, lad. The tide's coming in. Best find another way to the circuit breaker. Trapped on an island. Romy, have you gone crackers? You'll get yourself electrocuted. The current's too strong. We'll have to find some other way to reach the circuit breaker. This isn't just a sticky wicket, it's waterlogged and all. Now we're in a pickle and no mistake. Careful, lad. That's extremely volatile compressed rocket gas. Ex-NASA. Can't reach that circuit breaker, we'll be fried. 
so do it, lad, to blow yourself to smithereens. Make him more of it. Well done, Grommy. Poor be fixed in a jiffy. Just a moment. Turn to the right. And now it's safe to hit the light. That's better. Oh, there you are. Well, we'd best clean up. Crack on, lad. There's a lot to do. Sorry about the unseasonal weather. I'm afraid it means we'll have to put off our little trip to the seaside. Unless... we bring the seaside to us. Okay, so the first episode is about... I'm Here, doing a video there. We've already got a cellar full of water. It was about Just bees. a few more items. There we are. And we can enjoy the seaside from the comfort of our own home. Ho ho ho. Won't that be something, lad? We'll stay home for the holidays and have our own beach to boot. Lucky the rain's let up for now. I'll be back in a trice with all the necessaries. Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming up. Better be careful, or I'll be in the cellar faster than you can say secret trap door. Better be careful, or I'll be in the cellar. Where's the other gnome? Gone? No beach supplies in there. I'm sure Miss Flip won't mind if I take just one. Where's the... I noticed that the shed isn't there. No techno trousers. Hmm. Reckon you up, lassie, with a date. Surely you're not still thinking of the beach. It's freezing cold and might rain any moment. Ah, a little wet never dampened the spirits of my biscuit. Grab your wellies and we'll be off. Duncan, I really don't think so. You must admit, it's hardly beach weather, is it? Yes, don't be ridiculous. Oh, hello there, Wallace. Come and meet Duncan McBiscuit. He's an old friend. <laughs> and of course you know my two precious darlings, Fuji Woo and Tinky Wee. Say hello to Mr. Wallace Angels. Uh, yes. Uh, look, Gromit. It's your friends from next door. Cute little fellows. Oh, yes. They're show dogs, you know. Prize winners. They're my pride and joy. Well, I won't keep you. No, 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 no. Duncan was just leaving. Leaving with you, lassie, for a day on the beach. But what if there's a cloud burst? I don't consider thunder and lightning very pleasant beach companions. But there's no thunder and no lightning. Can you hear any thundering? Any cracking or booming? Well, can you? Maybe I can. Just hush your tongue a moment, will you? You can't hear no thunder, can you? Not even a wee tinkle. I suppose not. Have faith, lad. West Wallaby Street's first indoor beach will be ready in a trice. Sun, sand, and beach umbrella coming right up. It does look cozy in there. But I'm set on gathering the goods for our beach. Oh, 
Wish I had a dog like Grummet. We must act now before the flood. Gather the townsfolk. We'll stack the sandbags to the north, south, and east. Still time if we hurry. Look lively now, soldier. No, 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 you can't dump these sandbags here. Just, just, just wait a moment, Major, please. Stop dithering, you dudderhead. The town's being swept under. It's now being swept under, Major. And you're beginning to be a public <coughs> nuisance. Afternoon, Wallace. Thinking weather, eh, Wallace? It is rather gloomy. Like my business. Not a single customer all day. My sizzling summer sale has lost its sizzle. Oh. oh, yeah. It's a stack of Stilton. The earth-shaking roar of thunder? Uh, well, actually, uh... It doesn't matter when it comes to the complex ah. question of climate. A person should never really rely on his own senses. Only the experts really understand the weather. Oh? What's the latest cheese of the week, I wonder? Stilton? And that reminds me, I just sent the truck out with your delivery. When you return home, you'll find it waiting patiently on your doorstep. Ah, just like Gromit. You know, Mr. Wallace, there's nothing like coming home to a faithful lawyer's cheese. I quite agree. Have a pleasant day. No water shortage this summer, that's for certain. Episode 1 of Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures is all about bees, honey and all that. Episode 2 is about going to the beach. Episode 3 is about Hello, love. going to an amusement park. Oh, likes to keep a tight lid on irregular activity. And episode 4 is all about going golfing. Is all about going golfing. Looking for something to read? Take your pick. I'll put it on your slate. More rotten weather on the way tonight, they say. All set. Hey, make sure he don't nick any sweets. Mind your own business. That old misery guts thinks he could run this shop. <laughs> he couldn't run a bath. Afternoon, Mrs. Gabberly. Hello, Wallace. Lovely weather, isn't it? Well, uh, I... Uh... I'm joking, Pat. I know it's rotten. Had to cancel me holiday. That's a shame. Certainly is, being stuck with old misery guts here. I heard that! He don't miss a word I say, except when I ask him to do something. Ah, sitting behind a till all day ain't exactly hard labour. What would you know about hard labour? I could run this place a sight better than you, if I had a mind to. If you had a mind? What will it be? The 
constables busy, uh, chatting with the Major. Prison's an unhappy fate. I once had a friend banged up in there. If you'd like to unload these sandbags, I know just the spot. Just as I told you, the people are pleading for sand, and we've got to give it to them. I'd like to give it to you, you loony old goat. But if you've got a need for sandbags, Wallace, I hereby grant you permission. Oh? You grant permission? Indeed. Take all you want, Wallace. Infernal cheat. I'm the commanding officer here, you jumped up Jobsworth, and I hereby remote permission. Can you be cooperative just this once, Major? Cooperative? Don't know the meaning of the word. Sounds subversive to me. All right, Major, how about this? Why don't we ask Wallace here who's in command? This young Tondo? Hmm. Very well. Why not? Tell us, soldier, who holds rank here? Remember your training. Two fine flavors that work well together. We are talking about who's in charge, not flavors. Just a moment. Are you saying that instead of bickering over who's in charge, we should be working together as a team, like uh, steak and kidney? Uh, are you saying that in a crisis like this, we must act as one, like a well-trained commando unit? Actually, it's a sign. Exactly, a sign that we can now rise above our squabbles. Very well then, um, here's what we'll do. We'll send these sandbags off with you. Thank goodness. Well, I'll be off then. I can hear an op me sign calling me name, yes I can. Ernest Dibbins, it's saying. It's tea time. Fetch the blinking ketchup, Ernest. Now then, soldier. All I need is your requisition form. Requisition form? That's right. Got to play by the book. Can't let the spies sabotage operations, can we? Spies? Surely you've heard about the spies from abroad. They're everywhere. Don't look so rattled, man. Just bring me your requisition form, and you'll soon be neck deep in splendid sandbags. Oh, right then. I'm still waiting for that requisition form. Chop, chop, soldier. Okay, that's good. We need sand. That's quite a light, Mr. Paneer. It's a searchlight. I say, no shortage of candle power there. Right as the sun, don't you think? Wonderful for bringing in the big spenders. And the weather's fair, that is. I wonder, Mr. Paneer, where might a person acquire such a light? I'd be happy to lend you this one, but if the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh. Umbrella, sun, and yeah, that's... A special order for 62 West Wallaby Street. Stilton. One of my favorites. Wait for the 
Oh, yeah, it's mouth-watering. Ooh, did you hear an unearthly rumbling? Rumbling? What rumbling? Oh, I can't hear properly over your endless crackle. I say, that's a handsome beach brolly. Perhaps you'd like to borrow it. You're most welcome. We won't be needing it as we're not going anywhere. Oh, yes, we are, lassie. Oh, no, we aren't, Duncan. You can borrow the brolly once Duncan and I have finished our little discussion. Oh, not still, Duncan. <clears throat> cute little fellas. Oh, they're more than cute, Mr. Wallace. They're sure dogs. Uh-huh. And they're far too delicate for wintry weather. Why, my precious puppets would turn to popsicles. Beeswax, you big both and boats. Duncan. I'll be sweet as... I won't be buzzing anywhere in this... Oh, but still, Duncan, this cold will turn my precious puppies into ice lights. Oh, that furry coats will keep them toasty warm, I'm sure. That's not on. Duncan, do That doesn't make any sense. Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming right up. It does look cosy, and but I'm still. It's hardly beach weather, is it? It's perfect beach weather. Only I weed nip in the air to keep you sharp. Rather stay warm. I'd really rather not. You don't mind. Oh dear, fun! It won't be any fun today, Duncan. Nobody will be there. No beach supplies in there. Flip doesn't like poachers and war. Stormy weather ahead, I'm afraid. We are not interested in some fancy pants weather forecast. Oh, I'm interested. Don't you trust them, scientists? They can't tell the future. If they could, they'd be rich and have girlfriends and that, wouldn't they? A real man trusts his own senses, and my senses tell me it's a bonny day for the beach. Oh! Did you hear an unearthly rumbling? Rumbling? What rumbling? Oh, I can't hear properly over your endless crackle.
Nice to see you, Wallace. I wonder, Mr. Penny, where might a person acquire such a lump? I'd be happy to lend you this one, Books. If the weather warms up tonight, I'll need it to advertise my super sore away sizzling summer sale. Oh. I'll see you later. No beach brollies left. Sorry. Big burly bloke bought the last one. He weren't very polite about it. That's enough sand to fill a cellar. You won't get an egg timer full without the proper paperwork. Afternoon. It's good to see you, Wallace. But where's that clever doggy on? Oh, just doing his chores around the house. Oh, he's a good nears. Ta-ra, Chuck. The constable's off performing important duties, no doubt. Better be careful, or I'll be in the cellar faster than you can say secret trap door. Damn, are you hearing this? Afternoon, Wallace. Oh, is that thunder I hear? Uh, not exactly. Uh, didn't think so. After all, you can't tell what the weather's doing just by looking and listening, can you? You've got to rely on the experts. Stormy weather ahead, I'm afraid. Oh? Oh no. After all that, my sizzling summer sail is ruined. I go on holiday, but the weather's a washout. May the sun never shine on yours truly? Oh, is that thunder I hear? Uh, not exactly. Uh, didn't think so. After all, you got it. Have a pleasant day. Hello, love. Changed your mind, did you? Go ahead and swap, love. Your tittle tattle, that is. I read it from cover to cover. Found what you wanted, I trust. See you later, alligator. It's perfect, 
That doesn't make sense. Did you hear an unearthly rumbling? Rumbling? What rumbling? Oh, I can't hear properly over your endless prattle. Wait, Felicity, don't make it bad now. Oh, no, thank you. I refuse to go out in a thunderstorm. Oh, there's no thunderstorm. You can't hear no thundering, can you? Maybe I can hear thundering. Just put your bagpipes for a moment, will you? My gracious, that's thunder, all right, and it's nearly upon us. Oh, well, sure, it may be thundering, but but did you see lightning? There's no lightning to bother about us, sir. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not going to stay out here with you waiting to be struck by lightning. I'm going to seek shelter, and if you've any sense at all, Duncan McBiscuit, you'll do the same. Good day. What? Oh. What are you looking at, Jimmy? I'll just borrow this. Just the thing for our cellar-based indoor beach experience. No beach supplies in there. Hmm. Yeah, Wallace might have took out the gnome. Nice to see you, Wallace. I have an interesting periodical. No, thank you. Not in the mood for casual reading. I'll see you later. Afternoon. Did you hear the latest? Miss Flit's got a gentleman admirer. Folks say he's an old flame. Can you imagine? Uh... Not that she needs any more admirers flirting like she does. <clears throat> You're right about that. Ta-ra, Chuck. does look cozy in there, but I'm set on gathering the goods for our beach. It does look co- but I'm- Sun, sand and beach umbrella coming right up! Getting past tea time. We're getting there, lad. I borrowed a beautiful beach brolly.
Afternoon, Wallace. I say, I wonder where a person might acquire such a life. You're welcome to borrow this one, Mr. Wallace. There won't be any sizzling summer sale tonight, not in this blinky weather. That's very kind of you. Always happy to help. Oh, ho, ho. this light'll make a smashing sun. Have a pleasant day. I've secured a sizzling sun to brighten up our seaside in the cellar. I'm still waiting for that requisition form. Chop, chop, soldier. That's enough sand to fill a cellar. You. Prison's an unhappy fate. I will. Constables of performing important duties, no doubt. Hello, love. A shortage this summer, that's for certain. Nice to see you, Wallace. And see you later. Two fine flavors that work well together. That's a nice sentiment. The Major wants a requisition form, but I haven't anything that official.
changed your mind, did you? Go ahead and swap, love. Those sunglasses are quite a spectacle. Not your usual reading material, is it? <laughs> 